Hi, this is Rohan Naravni from Make Use Of, and today we're going to talk about automating repetitive tasks using your phone's infrared blaster. Infrared, or IR, is the most popular type of connectivity used in remote controls of appliances like televisions, music systems, air conditioners, and so on. Many entry level Android phones today have an IR blaster. It makes your phone work like a universal remote, mimicking the IR codes of traditional remotes to control these appliances directly. The software we are going to use for this feature is called Anymote. Although it's free on the Google Play Store, you can remove ads and some other limitations by making the $7 in-app purchase. For phones that don't have an IR blaster, the company sells the Anymote Home for $120, which is an omnidirectional IR blaster that sits on a desk. Let's start with setting up multiple remotes in any mode. You can do that by swiping in the side menu of the app, hitting the plus symbol and clicking add remote. Here, you can choose the type of device after which it will throw you some sample buttons to check which remote preset is compatible with your device. Once you've chosen the preset that works the best, it will add this remote to the side menu. Now that you're done adding all your remotes, it's time to create some macros to automate those frequent tasks. To add a macro, you need to swipe in the side menu, click the plus button and click add macro. Now set a name for the macro. For this example, I want to create a macro such that pressing a single button will turn on the TV and switch to the Chromecast connected on the HDMI 2 port. I'm going to name the macro Sony TV Chromecast. After this, the next screen is pretty self-explanatory. The plus symbol lets you add a new command or add a delay between two commands. I'll start with add a command. I'll choose the Sony TV bedroom remote which I've configured previously. Now I'll see a list of all the buttons on that TV remote and I'll choose power on and click the check mark symbol on the top right. After this, I'll add a delay of about 10 seconds because that's the time it takes for the TV to turn on. Now I'll hit the plus button again and select HDMI 2 from the list and hit the tick symbol on the top right. And that's it. So the next time I want to watch videos on the internet on my TV, I just have to press one button. Now let's talk about tasks. A task, unlike a macro, is a preset command that can be activated upon the occurrence of an event. To give you an example of a task, here's a problem I regularly face when using a Chromecast. When a phone call comes in, there is no easy way to pause an ongoing video. To create a task, swipe open the side menu, hit the plus button and tap add task. Now give the task a name. I'm going to call it pause Chromecast incoming call. On the next screen, choose incoming phone calls from the list. Now select tap to add command. Here, from your configured remotes, I'm going to choose Sony TV bedroom again because that's the one that has the Chromecast plugged in. Now from the list presented, I'll choose pause. That's it. Now my task is set. Bear in mind though, this particular task will work only if you have an HDMI CEC enabled TV and if you're answering the call in the same room since infrared requires a line of sight to work. The sky is the limit when it comes to a number of things you can do with macros and tasks using this app. I created a macro that turns my air conditioner on with a two hour auto shut off timer because I don't like to wake up freezing in the middle of the night. Next, I also created a task where my air conditioner turns on again at 6.30 am for some much needed cooling before I wake up. That's it from me. Although many entry-level Android phones today have IR blasters, it's a bit sad that high-end flagships don't have them anymore. Hope you found this video helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and maybe tweet to your favorite manufacturer that you miss IR blasters. For more useful videos, subscribe to the Make Use of YouTube channel. This is Rohan Naravde, signing off.